there are two methods that we use to make the sawdust for the Plisiga shop mobile rearing diet. The first is to use a Wiley mill, like this one. Um, to do this, the avocado logs need to be cut into small chunks that are less than 10 centimeters long um, so that they can be fed into the machine without it jamming. This is an acceptable sawdust consistency for the rearing diet. Finer sawdust is also acceptable. An alternative method that we use to make sawdust is a table saw. This method produces finer sawdust than the Wiley Mill, which makes for a more homogeneous diet mixture. You may need to adjust the amount of sawdust in your diet recipe depending on the sawdust consistency. I'm going to be showing you a demo of how to make the Polyphaga Shot Hole Borer Rearing Diet. It's a very simple procedure. Um, I'm going to be weighing out ingredients using a simple kitchen scale and then combining them inside a one liter autoclavable flask. So to start we have 95 grams of avocado sawdust. We keep our excess sawdust in a negative 20 degree freezer to prevent the growth of mold or other contaminants. Before using it for the diet, we thaw the sawdust for at least 30 minutes. The next ingredient is agar. For one 1 liter batch of diet, add 20 grams of agar. Next, add 10 grams of sucrose. Next, we add 5 grams of casein. The next ingredient is 5 grams of active dry yeast, which should be stored in the fridge when it's not being used. The next ingredient is 5 grams of cornstarch. The final dry ingredient is 1 gram of Wesson salt mixture. After all the dry ingredients are combined, we're going to combine 2.5 mils of wheat germ oil, make sure you shake the bottle up first, with uh, 5 mils of 95% ethanol. Wheat germ oil is very viscous, which is why I combine it with the 95% ethanol. The ethanol loosens it and makes it easier to pour. The final ingredient is 500 milliliters of deionized water. After adding the water, shake well to make sure that the diet is not too loose. If it is too watery, you may need to add more sawdust to prevent it from settling on the bottom of your tubes. This will ensure that your diet tubes have a uniform consistency throughout. Next, we autoclave our diet for 30 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius. When it comes out of the autoclave, be sure to shake it again before pouring tubes to make sure it's properly mixed. After the diet comes out of the autoclave, we shake it up, make sure it's well mixed, and then we pour it into 50 milliliter plastic falcon tubes. We fill them up about halfway so that the beetles can bore in. Before I begin pouring, I like to loosen the caps um, so that it makes it a faster, more efficient process. Um, it's also important to try to be as sterile as possible when you pour the diet. So you uncap, pour, and cap quickly uh, so that there's less chance of any contamination in your tubes. After you've poured your tubes, try to tap out any air bubbles that might have formed by tapping the bottom of the tube against the bench. You'll notice that condensation starts to build up uh, in your diet tubes after you pour the, the diet from the autoclave. So um, after you pour, wait about a day 
and the next day uh, you'll have to tap out the condensation so that the tubes dry out enough to put the beetles in them. To make it easier for the beetles to burrow into the diet, uh, use a sterile probe such as these disposable inoculating loops or a flamed instrument and just uh, score the surface of the diet or I like to poke holes uh, make it easy for them to, to dig in. There are a few other things to keep in mind when rearing the polyphagous shot hole borer. Um, when handling live beetles, you want to use soft forceps with broad tips so that you don't crush the beetles. Um, you'll also want to surface sterilize your beetles before you introduce them to the diet tube since the diet's, the diet's made specifically to harbor the beetle's fungus. So other, other fungi will regardless get inside of your tubes and contaminate them. Um, so there are a few surface sterilization options. The first is to use 70% ethanol. Um, just surface sterilize the beetle for 10 to 15 seconds. Let them dry for a little bit on a Kim wipe or a paper towel and then put them in the tubes. Um, an alternative is to use white solution. I found that white solution does not kill the beetles as quickly and it also does a better job of surface sterilizing them in the same amount of time as uh, the ethanol does. Um, in our tubes, we usually introduce between one and three adult female shot hole borers uh, for this size, this size tube.